Hey guys, this is Justin. Hello and welcome to another video. Before we begin, I've got a few interesting uploads I'm working on that you guys should see in the next couple of weeks. One is an overview of every conflict and war after the Battle of Endor in Star Wars Legends. Should give you a good overview of the entire post Endor Legends continuity, which may inform what goes on in Star Wars canon, so I'm working on that. Let me know any videos you'd like to see down below, and of course, if you haven't already subscribed for not only more Halo news, but more lore videos, Star Wars videos, and more. Today we're talking about Halo Infinite though, and before I get into this video and before I make people mad because that usually happens when I talk about Halo, I do think Halo Infinite is going to be pretty good. At least I think the bones of the arena gameplay will be good. I think they made a mistake by not adding any new big marquee mode. All they've really changed seemingly is adding 8 players to BTB. But I like that they return to the fundamentals of arena gameplay, equipment is back on the map, things like sprint have really been toned down. I think that's all great. But something does still seem a little off to me. It seems like there's something not quite right with Halo and Halo Infinite in particular. All right, so the genesis for this video was the fact that today was day one of Gamescom and the Xbox press conference. They showed off lots of cool stuff. The new Forza game looks amazing. But of course, people were waiting with bated breath for something Halo Infinite related and it didn't happen. Now, Gamescom is not over yet. I'm fully aware of that. They very well could show the game off tomorrow at one of the showcases. But the fact that they didn't have anything at the Microsoft event when Halo is the biggest Microsoft property around is a little strange for me. Halo should be something that Microsoft wants to attach to their Xbox brand at any chance they can. If they're going to talk about 2021 and 2022 for Xbox, you better have Halo Infinite there, especially because it is supposed to be the largest and most played Halo game of all time with 10 years of content and, you know, free to play multiplayer. You would really think that Microsoft would want to make a big deal about Halo, but they didn't today. Again, it might show up tomorrow, but they didn't in 343 also didn't let us know that, which I personally thought was a bit surprising because they usually do a good job of tempering expectations. But to me, this sort of weird handling of Halo and its marketing is something that's been going on for a while. And I don't think we can lose sight of the fact that Halo Infinite was supposed to release last year. Halo Infinite was originally a 2020 release title, but it was pushed back, probably largely because it just wouldn't have been finished in time. I think that's fairly obvious based on the technical flight. It just wouldn't have been ready if this is the state of the game this year. Not saying that it's bad necessarily, but there was also a lot of very public news dominating backlash but the state of the game how it looks not the art style the art style seems cool but technically the game leaves a lot to be desired especially as the first halo game after a bunch of years and yeah i think right now what a lot of people associate halo infinite with is the craig memes and i don't think that's necessarily a good thing although it is somewhat lighthearted. To me, there's a sort of air around Halo Infinite that the game is just not in a great state right now or that it won't be fully ready at the time of release. And there are multiple factors contributing to this. For example, today at Gamescom, as mentioned, doesn't even get a name drop as far as I remember. Certainly no new footage, nothing substantial. Second, related to this, we still don't have a release date. It makes me feel like Microsoft is not very confident about one, how much extra polishing time they need, but two, how Halo Infinite will fare against other games like Call of Duty and Battlefield, which haven't got release dates yet. It also seems like we're hearing lots of news about the fact that, to be frank, Halo Infinite just won't be ready for a full release. We heard last week that Infinite would not be shipping with Campaign Co-op, which is a huge thing for Halo fans and Forge, which I think is definitely a smaller thing for mainstream Halo fans. Now, they will both be coming. They haven't given us concrete release dates. They've estimated about three months and six months for the two. But I just feel like they're not doing enough to discourage this sort of narrative that may be forming. But I think another thing that's concerning is how little Halo Infinite seems to be doing to push itself as a major game, perhaps the largest largest game of 2021 coming out in three months probably. Now I'll admit, I'm not a marketing expert. I will say I got an A plus in my Bachelor of Commerce Marketing class, but that was a joke. I'm not a marketing expert, I'm not a game dev expert, but just going off my gut instinct, it feels like we should be getting more. And I gotta say, 
This is something you don't realize if you're one of those people who follows every single thing online. If you're constantly on the Halo Twitter, if you're reading the Halo blog posts, etc., you may not realize how little it seems Halo Infinite news is really making its way to the general population. I pretty much have a friend group of like, we can get 16 of us in real life who are still good friends and we grew up playing Halo. We started at Halo CE. During the pandemic, we had several big Halo play nights over at Xbox Live and PC, and it seems like none of them have any clue what's going on to Halo. A lot of them don't know if it's released yet. One of my friends thought it already had released. I just feel like the marketing is making no impression, or the lack of marketing really is not doing a good job of bringing hype up around the game or bringing notice to the game's release later this year. Like, three months isn't that long. Of course, there will be major marketing pushes closer to release, like we saw the Halo 3 Believe campaign I believe came out the same month of the game's release but I also remember there being a lot more hype months before the game's launch like let's talk about E3 because I think that's a good example of a big missed opportunity a lot of people said that infinite did E3 well I just can't agree we got really three minutes of gameplay footage when Forza Horizon, for example, had like 15 and other major games got pretty much as much time as they wanted. And I think this trailer worked for a lot of Halo fans, as I mentioned, because it did show hints of good gameplay, but when you watch the trailer sort of as a more general fan of gaming, you'll realize the trailer doesn't have that big wow factor that I think a lot of us were hoping, a new game mode or whatever. If you pay attention, a lot of the clips are no more than five or six seconds long. It's really just a highlight reel of kills, and I just don't think it really does anything to impress. Not that it's a bad trailer, not that it reflects that poorly on the game, but I don't think it takes infinite hype to next level like a lot of us were hoping. And then the bigger, longer multiplayer reveal trailer, which I believe was the next day or the day after, got much less exposure. It's got 3 million views for a multiplayer overview. In 2021, for a major AAA game, that is not a lot of views. I've had a few videos that get that many views, maybe one or two. Recent Call of Duty multiplayer overviews get a lot more in terms of exposure, and I just wonder, what is Halo doing wrong? Again, is it going to be a bad game? No, I don't think so. In fact, I think Halo Infinite will probably be the best 343 multiplayer game at least by far. My concern is when you look at hype among the not as hardcore Halo fans, it doesn't seem like it's there like it has been in the past. Some of that is probably due to the last two Halo games. But where we've had some bad press around the game, including the delaying of key features, the delaying of the game itself, the fact that it's three or four months away without a release date, it just seems strange to me that we're not getting more of a marketing push, even though we still are a quarter or a third of a year out. Anyway, I hope I'm wrong, and I'm sure you guys will let me know if that's the case, but I look forward to reading all of your opinions. Let me know if you agree, if you disagree, just do so politely. Till next time though, guys, have a good one, be safe, and may the Force be with you.